Well, ESCOM seeks to control the appliances in your house, and here's how. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the News in 5. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. ESCOM plan to control your geezer. ESCOM's plan to remotely control household electricity consumption is gaining momentum with the utility successfully implementing a pilot program in four ways and looking to expand the installation of smart meters across the country. Now, I did speak about this story a few months ago when they were thinking of doing this and now it started. Aside from improvements to the performance of its generation fleet, ESCOM is looking to remotely manage household electricity demand by installing smart meters. These smart meters will give ESCOM the ability to remotely manage demand from households. Using smart meters, ESCOM and municipalities can manage and shift load, reducing pressure on the grid during peak time. They want to install a smart meter in every South African household. It is set to cost 16 billion rand and take four years. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. These smart meters support two-way communication, which empowers ESCOM to limit the power supply to a home. The smart meters enable the utility to reduce the current passing into a household from 60 amps to 10 amps. What the hell? This allows the property to keep some basic appliances on, such as lights, a TV, and a Wi-Fi router. The reduction in current to 10 amps will also ensure that traffic lights in the area remain functional. However, households will not be able to use energy intensive appliances such as geysers, microwaves, and kettles. Yeah, so that's how they plan to do it. They're gonna reduce the current, ladies and gentlemen, so you cannot use certain appliances at certain times during the day. Son of a and what's probably even more infuriating and, and frustrating is that the cost of electricity doesn't even go down, right? It just increases and keeps on increasing. They keep on increasing the price of a product that they can barely provide. Listen, personally, I don't think this is going to work. I think it's like election season and ANC is promising all this stuff, trying to make themselves look good, trying to make it look like they're fixing the problem. They're not, they're really not. And what worries me is that some South Africans are gonna be like, well, at least we have a little bit of electricity. <clears throat> Please, people, do not fall for that. Do not get into that mindset. Do not accept the peanuts that the ANC is willing to give you. And then it makes my blood boil when I see ministers going on national television and saying crap like this. The electricity minister said that South Africans should do this out of genuine commitment to resolving the problem of load shedding. In the interview, he's talking about the whole smart meter thing. This is when it was still an idea. ENCA's presenter Heidi pushed back by saying that South Africans did not put themselves in this crisis and thus should not be forced to switch off their appliances. And here's what the minister said to that. Supply and then pay then we can make that argument and remain in the dark. That's the point I'm making, that all of us have to come to the picture to resolve. He said everyone has to work together to solve load shedding with the government taking most responsibility but not all. Well, newsflash, Mr. Electricity Minister, the government should take all the responsibility. The ANC are the ones that let corruption run wild in ESCOM. And now the South African people are suffering. Businesses have closed down and some people have even died. And remember, this is the same party that claims to be fighting for the people. Maybe it's time we did some government shedding at the ballot box in 2024. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like this video and share it far and wide. Also subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way. Speaking of content, please don't forget to check out my stand-up comedy special, which is called Crossing the Borders. It was directed by Barry Hilton. The first run of that show can be viewed on this channel for free. Link is in the description. And if you enjoyed this kind of content, then you might enjoy these videos. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.